my biggest musical inspirations. Uh, I take a lot from a lot of the 60s and 70s stuff. I uh, learned how to play music listening to the Eagles, the Doobie Brothers, a lot of the Motown stuff, and then that kind of evolved into really getting into artists like the Dave Matthews Band, the Grateful Dead. And so that's uh, those are the guys that really inspired me to start playing music in the first place. And then once I got into that, then it was just kind of game over. I'd say my top influences would be Catfish and the Bottle Men because their live show is absolutely killer and they just draw the crowd in with everything they do. Big Kings of Leon fan, they're just the raw just swag behind them. And then I would say a consensus for all of us would be U2. That's his all time favorite. But U2 and just like the live show and how they draw the energy from the crowd and just, ah, uh, just. It just works. It just works. It just fires me up. I can't even talk about it. It just, it just fires me up. You have to take five. <laughs> I'm digging. For me, I would say the stuff that got me into music was definitely like 80s rock, Guns N' Roses, Aerosmith, stuff like that. And then kind of progressed. I kind of wear like two hats of musician. I, I would say if for guitar, my biggest influences are definitely John Mayer, it's number one. Eric Johnson, Slash, like I said, um, David Gilmore from Pink Floyd. But then on the other hand, I'm super into like modern pop stuff. Um, one of my favorite ever is the Chainsmokers, and uh, like the recent Dua Lipa record is insane. Charlie Puth, mm -hmm. so stuff like that, balancing that kind of stuff, is where I get my inspiration. As mentioned earlier, mine is uh, U2. <coughs> it's my favorite band of all time. I know way too much about that band, all the way down to who produced what album, where the songs come from, and everything. But as just like. Logan and Jack. I, I studied a lot of 60s, 70s, and 80s rock. I was really intrigued by live shows, by Kiss or Van Halen, Led Zepp, you know, all the all the greats. And then musically, I, I, I pull a lot from Larry Mullen, the drummer from U2, Stuart Copeland, who's the drummer from The Police, which is another big 80s band, and then of course John Bonham, because if you play drums, you pull from him. And then as of recently, big Foo Fighters guy as well, mm -hmm. Redmond today. But uh, Taylor Hawkins and Dave Grohl, I think it's cool that two best rock drummers on the planet are in the same band. They just need Chad Smith from the Chili Peppers. <laughs>